Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new marketplaces on Merch by Amazon. Let's go. Hey guys, we're back trying something new, um, recording myself while looking at the screen here. So we're gonna try this for today. And for those of you new to my channel, my name is Juna. I'm a graphic designer and online t-shirt seller. My channel is all about helping you design and sell your own t-shirts online. If that's something you're interested in, um, please feel free to subscribe um, and click that notification button if you want to see some of these videos. And we'll notify you or YouTube will notify you when I upload a new one. And let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. So today I'm so excited. Um, we just got or I just got uh, the message uh, August 4th. 2020 is when we got it, depending on when you are watching it. It could be new or it could be late, but um, this is what Merch by Amazon is saying right here. I'm going to read it right here. Um, we are excited to announce Merch by Amazon is now live in France, Italy, and Spain with the same product assortment available in the UK and Germany. We began rolling out the, to content creators today. That's me. I got it today one of the lucky ones. When an account is enabled, options to select the new products will be available on the Create Products page, and we'll look at that. Um, and then it says, please note, the new marketplace offerings may not be immediately enabled for your account. So not everybody will get it at first. Um, along with these new marketplaces, we've added portal language options for French, Italian, Spanish, and Japanese. So Japanese is coming, I'm, I'm assuming. And you can update your preference language in the header or footer of the merch portal. So that's right here. You can see this is in the footer of the merch portal. I'm going to click on it. You can see right here, this can be your default language or your portal language is what they're talking about. English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, and Japanese. So I'm going to close that. It's also up here. This is the header. Um, same thing here. I have it in English since I don't speak any of the other languages. Uh, so let's get right into it. I just wanted to do a quick video so you can see what it's like if you don't have it. I wanted you to see. So here we are on the Create Products page. I have all my products. It looks very similar to what you already have unless you don't have these phone cases. Um, but let me go over the, some of the changes. So the first change here uh, is when you select products and you have them all enabled. Um, you'll see right here the .com, the .uk, the .ede, and now um, when you have these enabled, you have .fr, .it, and .es, which is for France, Italy, and España or Spain. Um, right now, they don't have premium shirts for those marketplaces or phone cases, but everything else, guys, everything else is enabled. So a um, lot, a lot of products available all at once for that great time before the Q4 hit. So let me show you some of the prices. I know you might be thinking about that. I'll go into some of these here. The standard shirt is the one that sells the best for me. So let's look at that first. Um, same colors here. When you have them all enabled, you see right here the DE, FR, um, well we had DE before, but FR, IT, and ES. Um, Merch by Amazon is defaulting these prices to $16.99 for France, $16.99 for Italy, about the same, and $16.49 for Spain. Um, just a little lower than um, what they're defaulting the, the .com at. Um, probably just to get, get things started, I'm sure they might, well, I'm not sure, but they probably will raise it because um, you can see the profit margin here is a little lower as well, um, just $2, $2 here. I know you, what you might be thinking, what is the lowest price that you can go? At least that's what I was thinking when I looked at this. So I did the research for you guys. Um, here is what it is. So for France, it would be $13.75 to get a zero um, out there, zero profit. Um, $13.75 again for um, Italy right here. And $13.31, whoops. For those of you that want to play the low price game, and get the lowest price. Um, this is the lowest price you can go without getting a profit from these. And you can mark your uh, shirts, your standard shirts, that price if you want to play that game and, and just get, get them out there and be the lowest price out there. So that's that. Um, again, let's go through some of the other ones. 
premium. Um, there isn't for the other markets, just US. Um, V-neck typically sells a lot for me as well. So I'm gonna do it here too. Let's um, find the lowest price. You can see right here, uh, Merch by Amazon is just by default, $17.99, $17.99, $17.49, just a little above the UK, but below the .com. And just with that uh, profit margin of $2, just above $2 for these. So the zero price for these, um, again, I did the research for you guys, $14.51 right there, um, $14.00. 49 right there is zero and 1405 right there if you want to do it at no profit or if you want to do a penny profit just add a penny to those and so that's that's what it is right there for France Italy and uh, Spain which is pretty good um, pretty good price again so I think most people I, I, I sell these regularly at um, 18 19 99 so um, here's the tank tops, you got that too. I didn't do it for that, but just so you can see the, the prices for here, uh, $16, very comparable to, to the V-neck, just like the, the V-neck for a dot .com. Um, you got the long sleeve here at $19.99 with a $2 profit. That's very comparable. So all of these are pretty comparable to, to what you have here. You got the raglan, the baseball tees, um, $20 default um, with the $2 profit. So actually probably a little less than this because if you added $21, um, you, you get close to that $23 here. So this is, let's see, 22 and you would, yeah. So even with a dollar under the .com, you'd make more than um, you would at the .com. So just something to think about when you're doing it here. Um, sweatshirts, here are the sweatshirt prices, 28 by default, um, and again, very comparable to that. Pullover hoodies, now that it's getting closer and closer to Q4, I think we're gonna sell a lot of these. I know I did, um, and I continue to sell hoodies even in the summer. So I did this one for you guys. Uh, 25.52 is the zero price for France. Uh, 25.92 is the zero price for Italy. 25. 44 is the zero price for Spain. So very, very good prices for the hoodies um, when you compare it to the other ones for the other marketplaces that we have. And lastly here, um, the zip hoodie um, right here, 31, 31, 31 at a $3 profit, which is very comparable. Again, if you added two more dollars here, it'd be five and five. So um, very comparable to the dot com. So very good pricing, I think. Um, right off the bat for these, uh, at least pricing comparable to the dot com. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Some of the new changes again on here, these is languages. So you'll see I have this toggle here to expand all languages and collapse all languages. I'm going to collapse them at first. So you can see here English is for dot com dot UK Germany like we had before or currently um, the DE. Uh, France, or they speak French there, um, Italy, Italian, and for Spain, Spanish. And so you'll need to, when you go in here, let me expand them all. When you go in here, you'll actually have to put your design title, feature bullets, whatever you want to put in here in that language. So that's what it's saying right here. Add all product details in each marketplace's language. So um, if you know French and Italian and Spanish um, or any one of those, you know, that can be a great asset, so you can just start typing it in there. If you don't, you probably need to use something like Google Translate or something like that to, to do your product um, features and, and details. Um, so let me scroll down here. Again, the, the only other thing on the bottom here are the languages that they talked about, that I talked about earlier. So um, what's my strategy for this right now? So my personal strategy, just that I'm thinking about it, is I'm going to go in, see what my best sellers are, um, you know, you can look in Pretty Merch and then your dashboard and, and see and analyze um, which ones are your best sellers. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to upload all of them to French, Italy, and Spain. That's going to be my first thing that I'm going to do. Just take all the things that I'm selling really well and try and put them on here and maybe use Google Translate or something like that and make sure that I, I put them in there. 
I don't know if I'm going to put all the bullets, but why not? I already have them in English. Uh, I'll just have to translate it. So that's that's my strategy for what's going on in this marketplace uh, with the new marketplaces. Uh, let me know your strategy, what you you think you need about doing for it. Um, and just wanted to make a quick video so you guys could all see this. If you even if you don't have it already, it will be coming to you probably before the Q4. I know. Um, I'm sure merch. By Amazon wants you uh, wants everybody to put in an all of it um, before Q4 or before Christmas and New Year and, and Thanksgiving and all that Black Friday right so that's it just wanted to make a really quick video for you guys hope you all, all enjoy it um, and thanks so much for watching this video and sticking to the end um, and if you want to make uh, see more videos like these make sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get uh, um, alerted when we have more of these so thanks again for watching guys and until next time keep creating and keep making new t-shirts all right see you